children it is a continuation of the chapter pair of relier equation in two variables now let us discuss about the algebraic method of solving the pair of linear equations in two variables and one of the algebraic method is elimination method now you come to the exercise 3 that is the third exercise of the pair of linear equations in two variables now see the first question of that exercise solve the pair of linear equations by elimination method and also there is a method one more method substitution method now let us discuss about the only elimination method first to take the first pair of linear equations that is x plus y is equals to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equals to 4 here now let us consider x plus y is equals to 5 is the first equation and 2x minus 3y is equals to 4 is the second equation. In the elimination method, we eliminate one variable first. We have to eliminate any one of the variable either x or y. Then we will get a linear equation in one variable. To eliminate any one of the variable, if you want to eliminate x, the coefficient of x in both the equation must be same. If they are having same coefficient, then we can eliminate them easily. But if they are different means, we have to multiply the equations by some suitable non-zero constant. We have to multiply both the equation by suitable non-zero constant to make the coefficient of one variable numerically equal, either x or y. Then we have to add or subtract one equation from the other. We have to add both the equation or we have to subtract one equation from the other equation depending upon the sign of the variable here, depending upon the sign. If they are having same sign, then we have to subtract. If they are having different sign, then we have to add the equations here. And next, if you get an equation in one variable, we obtain a true statement involving no variable, then the original pair of equations has infinitely many solutions. If we obtain false statement involving no variable, then the original pair of equation has no solution. It is inconsistent. Then we have to solve the equation in one variable so obtained to get its value. By substituting this value of x or y in either of the original x equation to get the value of the other variable. Now to illustrate it, let us solve this one example here, one question here. See the pair of linear equations x plus y is equals to y that is first equation 2x minus 3y is equals to 4 is the second equation. Here, in the first equation, the coefficient of the variables x and y are 1 here. In the second equation, the coefficient of x is 2, coefficient of 3 is minus 3. Now here, if you want to eliminate x, here we have to make the coefficient of the x in the first equation 2. So, to have the coefficient of x in the first equation, the first equation must be multiplied by 2 here. And second equation, as there is already 2, we have to multiply it by 1. So, here, let us write the first step. What you have to write? By multiplying the first equation by 2. So, you take by multiplying multiplying equation 1 by 2 and and equation 2 by 1 that is you can write like this way 2 into x plus y is equals to 2 into 5 that you will get here 2x plus 2y is equals to 10 it is 
नेक्स्ट वन इंटू टू एक्स मैनस थ्री वै इज ईक्वल टू वन इंटू फोर आल द टर्म्स रिमेन्स एज इट इज दट इज टू एक्स मैनस थ्री वाई इज ईक्वल टू फोर नौ लेटस् कन्सिडर दिस इज द थर्ड इक्वेशन दिस इज दि फोर्थ इक्वेशन सो वाट यू हन इयर इयर टू हेव दि सेम को इफिशियंट फॉर एक्स वि मल्टिप्लाइड दि फस्ट इक्वेशन बै टू देन इट बिकम्स टू एक्स एंड ईच टर्म मस्ट बी मल्टिप्लाइड बै टू इयर नाट ओनली वन टर्म यू हेव टू मल्टिप्लाई आल द टर्म्स विच आर इन दट इक्वेशन मस्ट बी मल्टिप्लाइड बै टू सो इट बिकम्स टू इंटू एक्स प्लस वाई इज ईक्वल टू टू इंटू फाइव सो इट बिकम्स टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज ईक्वल टू टेन एंड वन इंटू टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इज ईक्वल टू वन इंटू फोर सो यू गॉट अगेन हि दि न्यू इक्वेशन्स थर्ड एंड फोर्थ नौ सी दि सैन आफ दि टर्म्स हियर हियर यू कैन कैंसल टू एक्स एंड टू एक्स इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट दि इक्वेशन थ्री फ्रॉम टू और फोर फ्रॉम थ्री हियर बट हियर थ्री दिस टेन इज ग्रेटर मीन्स यू डू दि थ्री बाय इक्वेशन थर्ड माइनस इक्वेशन फोर हियर थर्ड इक्वेशन माइनस फोर्थ इक्वेशन सो इट बिकम्स टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई हियर इट इज इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस फोर इट इज सो इट बिकम्स टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस फोर इट इज यू नो दैट दिस इज द थर्ड इक्वेशन दिस इज द फोर्थ इक्वेशन वी आर वी हैव सब्ट्रैक्टेड इक्वेशन फोर फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री दैट इज थ्री माइनस फोर इट इज so it becomes this is the third equation this is the fourth equation so you have subtracted here that becomes see this is the third equation this is the fourth equation now you open the bracket here that is 2x plus 2y minus 2x plus 3y is equals to 10 minus 4 is that is 6 here then here 2x 2x cancels 2y plus 3y is That is five y here. Five y is equals to six. It is so. I got y is equals to y is equals to six by five. Y is equals to you got six by you six by five. It is here. You got the value of y. Then you to get the value of x. Here x is eliminated, and you got the equation in one variable that is 5y is equals to 6 here y you have to subtract here we must subtract 2x by 2x to get zero here because this uh, 2x and this 2x are having same sign if the variables are having same sign means if the terms are having same sign we have to subtract one equation from the other equation if they are having different sign then we have to add so this is the case of addition and subtraction here so you got y is equals to 6 by 5 then take the one of the equation the first equation here x plus y is equals to 5 so you write x plus y is equals to 5 you substitute you write by substituting y equals 6 by 5 in equation 1 so what is the equation on here x plus y is equals to that is 5 here then x plus y value is 6 by 5 is equals to 5 therefore you write x equals 5 minus 6 by 5 it is x equals Y minus six by five, so you got x equals the LCM is five here. Five five is a twenty five. It is minus six. So five means five by one minus six by five. It is. So you got twenty five minus six by five. So x is equals to you got nineteen by five. This way you got the values of x and y. 
therefore you can write x equals 19 by 5 and y is equals to you got that already 6 by 5 y is equals to 6 by 5 next you take the second one 3x plus 4y is equals to 10 and 2x minus 2y is equals to 2 2x minus 2y is equals to 2 now you take the first equation 3x plus 4y is equals to 10 second equation 2x minus 2y is equals to 2 consider this is the first equation this is the second equation here you decide which one you are going to cancel here if you want to cancel x here here the coefficient is 3 and here the coefficient is 2 then here the first equation must be multiplied by 2 and the second equation must be multiplied by 3 here or if you want to cancel y here 4y is there you can convert 2y as 4y by multiplying the second equation by 2 and in that case we have to multiply the first equation by 1 only that is easy for you so you try it by by multiplying equation 1 by what 1 only and equation second by what 2 by it is 2 to the 4 it is 2 to the 4 so you must multiply the second equation by 2 then the first equation becomes 1 into 3x plus 4y first equation becomes 1 into 3x plus 4y into 1 into 10 that becomes same equation remains here 3x plus 4y is equals to 10 second equation 2 into 2x minus 2y is equals to 2 into 2 then that becomes that is multiply each term by 2 2 to the 4x minus 2 to the 4 y it is is equals to 4 so you got this is 4y this is minus 4y then here you consider the first equation remains as it is so you write it is first only this is changed so you take it as third equation first one there is no any change as it is multiplied by 1 as you got same equation write that as 1 and second equation is same changed here that is 4x minus 4y is equals to 4 it is now here this 4y and this 4y can be cancelled as they are having different sign so you must add them by adding by adding equation 1 and equation 3 third equation that is 3x plus 4y plus you have to do 4x minus 4y that is 10 this is 4 that becomes 3x plus 4y plus 4x minus 4y is equals to 10 plus 4 it is add LHS to the LHS and RHS to the RHS why you have to add here because the y which is having the same coefficient are having different sign here the variable which are going to cancel are having different sign then we have to add the equations here then open the bracket 3x plus 4y plus 4x minus 4y here plus is there means there no any change in the sign is equals to 14 it is then here plus 4y minus 4y cancels 3x 4x can be added that becomes 7x 
you got a equation in one variable as y is cancelled. Now it becomes solve this x equals 14 by 7. So you got x equals 2 here. By cancelling the value of y you got 7x equals 14. Then you solve for x, x equals 14 by 7 that is equals to 2. Now here by substituting x equals 2 in which equation you take the first equation that is 3x plus 4y is equals to 10 in equation first. So what is that equation here 3x plus 4y is equals to 10 it is that is x value is 2 means you write 3 into 2 plus 4y is equals to 10. 3 to the 6 plus 4y is equals to 10. So 4y is equals to 10. 6 you transfer that becomes 4y is equals to 10 minus 6. Then 4y is equals to 10 minus 6 is 4. So y is equals to 4 by 4 that is equals to 4 1 the 4 1 the you will get 1 here. So you got the solution x equals to and y is equals to 1 here. The solution are x equals to and y is equals to 1 here. The y is eliminated and you got the value of x and that value is substituted in the first equation to get the value of y here. So here y is equals to 1 you got afterwards. Next you take the third one. What is that third one? 3x minus 5y minus 4 is equals to 0 and 9x is equals to 2y plus 7. 9x is equals to 2y plus 7. So here you write 3x minus 5y is equals to 4 you try it for convenient purpose and it becomes 9x minus 2y is equals to 7. Transfer that minus 4 to the RHS here. Here you transfer 2y to the LHS. Then you write 3x minus 5y is equals to 4 first equation. 9x minus 2y is equals to 7. This is the first one. This is the second one. Now you decide to cancel any one of the variable. To eliminate one of the variable. As it is elimination method. So which one you are going to eliminate? Here you know that the coefficient of x in the second equation is 9x. And the coefficient of the x in the first equation is 3x. So, 3 can be converted as 9 easily by multiplying the first equation by 3 here. 3, 3 is a 9. So, you multiply each term of the first equation by 3. Then, you can multiply the second equation by 1 only. So, the second equation remains as it is. So, let us by multiplying by multiplying equation first by what 3 and equation 2 by 1 so 3 can be converted into 9 so 9 can be taken as it is so the first equation is to be multiplied by 3 second equation must be multiplied by 1 then the first equation 3 into 3x minus 5y is equals to 3 into 4 that becomes 3 3 is a 9x minus 9 3 5 is a 15y is equals to 3 4 is a 12. Next up second equation 1 into 9x minus 2y is equals to 1 into 7 that converts into same there is no any change here 9x minus 2y 
is equals to 7 it is. Then here observe that is this is the third equation and the second equation remains as it is you write second only. Now here this both the terms are having same sign. To eliminate them as they are having same sign you must subtract here. So you subtract second equation by first equation because 12 is greater than 7 here. So for convenient purpose here definitely we are eliminating x. Here we had the here we are having the same coefficient here by multiplying the first equation by 3. Here in both the equation x is having same coefficient and they are having same sign plus sign. To eliminate x we have to subtract one equation from the other equation as they are having same sign. Therefore you do by which equation minus which equation third equation minus second equation or you can write by subtracting by subtracting second equation equation 2 equation 2 by equation 3 that is here 9x minus 15y is equals to 12 minus 9x minus 2y is equals to 7. This is the third. This is the second. Then you write the first equation of the LHS of the first equation 9x minus 15y minus because it is a subtraction here minus 9x minus 2y is equals to 12 minus 7 it is. Then you write the first bracket as it is and here minus sign is there. So open the bracket and change the sign minus 9x plus 2y is equals to 12 minus 7 is that is 5 here. Then you write 9x, 9x cancels here, minus 15y plus 2y that you know, minus 15 plus 2 is minus 13y, minus 13y is equals to 5 it is, minus 13y, then So you got y is equals to 5y minus 13 that is nothing but minus 5 by 13 it is minus 5 by 13. Now here x is eliminated and you got only one variable that is the equation becomes minus 13y is equals to 5 here. Then you solved y is equals to minus 5 by 13 then by substituting by substituting y is equals to minus 5 by 13 in equation which equation you are going to take here to take the first equation only 3x minus 5y is equals to 4 3x minus 3x minus 5y is equals to 4. So you write 3x as it is minus 5 into minus 5 by 13 is equals to 4 it is. The value of y is minus 5 by 13. Then it becomes 3x minus of minus that is plus 25 by 13 equals 4. Then 3x is equals to 4 minus 25 by 13. Transfer that 25 by 13 to the RHS. Then 
3 x is equals to the LCM is here 13 as it is 4 by 1 and you know that 113 the 13 fours are 13 fours are it is 50 to minus 25 it is so it is 3x is equals to 52 minus 25 is that is 27 by 13 you will get so x equals you transfer that 3 to the RHS that becomes 27 by 13 into 1 by 3 it is 3 ones are 3 nines are so you got x equals 9 by 13 in this way you got therefore you are got x equals 9 by 13 and y is equals to minus 5 by 13 that is the solution what you got here take the fourth question x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equals to minus 1 and second equation is x minus y by 3 is equals to 3 and you take the first equation and simplify it x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equals to minus 1 it is now here let us make it convenient here so 2 3 is a 6 the lcm is 3 6 here so 2 3 is a 6 x 3 is a 3 so it becomes 3x plus 3 2 is a 6 so 2 2 is a 4 4y it is 4y is equals to minus 1 hence the equation becomes 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6 here so you got the convenient form of the first equation that is 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6 now you come here the second equation here the lcm is 3 x means x by 1 you take so 1 3 is a means x 3 is a 3x minus y is equals to 3 it is then you do the cross multiplication that becomes 3x minus y is equals to 3 3 is a 9 so you multiply this and this then you will get 3 3 is a 9 here you multiply 6 into minus 1 you got minus 6 and you got 3 2 equations here first equation is 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6 second one is 3x minus y is equals to 9 so this is the equation take this is the first equation and this is the second equation now here already both the equations are having the variable x have with the same coefficient see here in this the coefficient of x is 3 in this equation also the coefficient of x is 3 so you can eliminate x easily here and they are having same sign here plus 3x plus 3x so as they are having same sign you can eliminate x by add uh, subtracting the first equation by second or second equation by first year so if this is greater means you take by by subtracting first equation equation first by equation second that is second minus first year so you write the first 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 you write 3x minus y is equals to 9 that is the second equation and 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6 first equation because 9 is greater than minus 6 so we have taken like this way you also you can take the first equation minus second equation also you can take there is no any problem here you will get the solution in that case also here you have taken equation 1 minus equation equation 1 is subtracted from the equation 2 that is equation 2 minus equation 1 so you write subtraction here then you write the first equation 3x minus y minus 3x plus 4y is equals to you write second equation is 9 minus 
minus 6 here. 9 minus of minus 6. That is this minus this. So, you have taken. Then you write 3x minus y. Open the bracket. Sign changes here. Minus 3x minus 4y is equals to 9 plus 6 here. 9 plus 6. 3x, 3x cancels. And minus 1y it is. Minus 1y minus 4y. Same sign means add them. That becomes minus y. y is equals to 9 plus 6. 15 it is. Then y is equals to. It becomes 15 by minus 5. 15 by minus 5. Then therefore y is equals to. Right. Minus 5 1s are. Minus 5 3s are. Minus 3s it is. So you got the value of y is minus 3. Here x is eliminated and you got the equation in one variable that is minus 5y is equals to 15 and you got the value of y minus 3. Now by substituting substituting y is equals to minus 3 you take the first equation that is 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6 in equation first. First equation is 3x minus y is 3x plus 4y is equals to minus 6. 3x plus 4y is equals to minus. You can also take second equation also. Then you substitute the value of y is here. 3x you write as it is plus 4 into minus 3 the value of y is that is equals to minus 6. So it becomes 3x minus 12 is equals to minus 6 it is. So 3x is equals to that becomes minus 6 transfer this to the RHS that becomes plus 12 it is. So 3x is equals to that is nothing but 12 minus 6 it is. So it becomes 6 minus 6 plus 12 is 6 here. So x is equals to x is equals to right 6 by 3. 3 ones are 3 twos are you got 2 here. Therefore you write x equals to y is equals to you got y value minus 3. That is the solution of the first mean of the exercise.